Well, we knew it was coming, and it's finally over. Sony and PlayStation are shutting down Conquered Developer Firewalk Studios. This saga just is the ultimate lesson in get woke, go broke, and it couldn't happen to a nicer company with nicer intentions. I hope they, them, uh, have a good day today. <laughs> And and let's get into the news in just a moment. Smash that like and subscribe button, everybody. Join us here as we talk about all things that are going on in the culture. And of course, 2024 is the year that Woke died. It is just absolutely collapsing on every level from comics to video games to books to movies. And we are covering it all right here. I'm a science fiction author myself fighting back against woke content. And I would love for you to sign up for my newsletter in the description below. This is an offer for you guys, which you get a full graphic novel from me, a full science fiction novel from me, and a full steampunk novella from me. Uh, Awesome stuff right here. Just a little sampler just for uh, thanking you for reading it all. And uh, I hope you'll come and check things out. And if you've already joined and and enjoyed things, uh, go check out the other links in the description below, Amazon links and the like. Support the channel as we're building here. And uh, I'm going to be coming out with new books very, very soon, guys. So uh, stay tuned as well. So here's the news of the day. Sony Interactive Entertainment and PlayStation Studios head Herman Holst announced that he, he shut down Concord developer Firewalk Studios about a year after it was purchased from Probably Monsters. What an expensive a lesson for Sony right here, my friends. In a post to Sony Interactive Entertainment website, he wrote, As part of our ongoing efforts to strengthen SEI's studio business, we have had to make the difficult decision relating to two of our studios, Neon Koi and Firewalk Studios. Womp womp. This is just the first of many, guys. We saw that earlier this year, Xbox was slashing s- studios. Uh, it's going to just be a house of cards. It's going to be like dominoes coming in the coming year after all of these failures are hitting so hard guys uh it's going to be very very fun to watch and they're going to complain so much they're gonna, those bigots are cheering for us getting fired and i'm going to say you're damn right uh you should not have any place in video games you guys have ruined a lot of things and uh no more going forward no more speaking specifically to firewalk studios he says regarding firewalk as announced earlier in september in the important update on concord uh certain aspects of concord were exceptional but others did not land with enough players <laughs> <laughs> yeah, certain aspects were exceptional, all right? That's, a, that's one nice way to phrase it. As a result, we took the game offline. We spent considerable amount of time these last few months exploring all of our options. After much thought, we have determined the best path forward is to permanently sunset the game and close the studio. I want to thank all of Firewalk for their craftsmanship, creative spirit, and dedication. Now, these last two months, from what I was told from an inside source, they were tr- desperately trying to find a way to retool Concord and rework it into something that might actually make money, and they came up with nothing. That's why this is all shutting down at this point. Concord like, was going to get a second life. Uh, it was going to try to get a second rebirth, a new launch, and they just couldn't figure out how to do it. They, the uh, PR, the press, was so bad on this game that there was nothing they could do. It was just a completely dead-on-arrival situation. He then added, the PvP first-person shooter genre is a competitive space that's continuously evolving, and unfortunately, we did not hit our targets with this title. We will take the lessons learned from Concord and continue to advance our live service capabilities to deliver future growth in this area. Can you imagine more corporate speak than that? It is ridiculous, guys. I mean, they still do not admit the actual problems going on. They don't admit that it's just a woke diversity thing that nobody wants to play. You can't just produce an Overwatch clone and then add woke to it and then make some money. It's pretty obvious how this all works. But still, they, they'll they never say it publicly, guys. But privately, you know that a lot of the investors are done with this kind of nonsense. As much as Kotaku and IGN and PC Gamer might whine and attack gamers all day long, behind the scenes, things are moving. And uh, this is how we're all going to win, guys. We just don't buy these games. We laugh at them. And then we continue on. It's going to take two to three years to flatten the curve because it takes two to three years to develop a AAA game from scratch. And so everything that comes out of this and comes out of these lessons learned is going to avoid some of this woke stuff. There's still going to be woke stuff, of course, but a lot of the new stuff is going to avoid it and it's going to help. But, you know, we're not going to have these good games from any developers until probably 2026, 2027, except for independent developers, of course, which we'll cover because we want to promote good games as well. I know none of this is easy news to hear. Oh, yes, it is, friend. Particularly with colleagues and friends departing SIE, both decisions were given serious thought, and ultimately, we feel they are right ones to strengthen the organization, he continued. 
Neon Koi and Firewalk were home to many talented individuals, <laughs> and we will work to find placement for some of those impacted in our global community of studios where possible. Yikes. I don't think there's a lot of room because a lot of these studios are slashing their employees all the way around because they got bloated. They hired pointless people for the sake of diversity. A lot of these people don't have any skills, despite what he's saying right there. And so they're just going to get cut all the way across the board. He then concluded, I'm a big believer in the benefits of embracing creative experimentation and developing new IP. However, growing through sustainable financials, especially in a challenged economic environment, is critical. While today it is a difficult day, there is much to look forward to in the months ahead. In the studio, business group, and our teams, I remain confident that we are building resilient and capable organizations driven by and creating unforgettable entertainment experiences for our players. All 100 of those players, my friends. So ridiculous that this is going on right here. And you know exactly what's happening. This, So this game was taken offline. Of course, if you missed the whole Hobilo, I don't know what was happening to you in September. But two weeks after the game's release, it was over. At this time, we t- decided to take the game offline beginning September 6th, explore options, including those that will better reach our players. And they also offered refunds to everybody uh, who did buy the game. So the people who do have the physical copies of the game or uh, have some collector's items out there at this point had the peak concurrent players of 697 on steam and we know it cost hundreds of millions of dollars to make this is an expensive lesson for sony it is very very expensive to make these woke games and to do this kind of thing and they are going to pay the price dearly at this point as they just have to shut down after investing all that money it's all a sunk loss at this point well i guess at least sony gets a tax write-off right because that's how these things work you get to write off a little bit here and a little bit there against your other stuff. And, you know, maybe it'll offset the losses of Venom. Oh, wait, they're losing on every front at this point. Not good for Sony. Uh, looking really bad, Sony sisters. Leave a comment down below with what you think about this. Please hit the like and subscribe button. Thank you for being here uh, as we report the news. And, of course, please sign up for my newsletter in the description below. We'll be back soon.